Okay guys, welcome back here. Um, I'm working on the 37 Ford today. Dr. Dave is home. I had a cold, if you remember. Got it from my buddy there, the asshole Zoltan. <laughs> he's high watching us. He, he's all worried. He says, I called him an asshole. And he says, now he's only going to be known as the asshole. So uh, yeah, Zoltan gave me a cold and I passed it along to Dave, but Dr. Dave ended up getting even worse. Dr. Dave has got the flu, which I never had. I never had the, uh, I never had the flu. I just had a stuffed up head and nose and throat and, and that was it. And uh, Dave's got the flu and he's at home with a temperature of 101. And, uh, and uh, if you're out there watching Dave, I hope you get better soon. And um, uh, honestly, don't, don't worry about coming to work. I'd sooner you stay home and get well. To, um, you know, you can always make up hours later on in life. And, uh, but that's it, but I'm here, I'm working away. And uh, so I thought I'd just give you a quick glimpse of what's going on here with the 37 Ford. Okay, so as you can see, we had to get in here. As you can see down in here, you can see, look at all the, um, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's just tons of undercoating and tar because so you can see here where someone has just done, you can see along here, it's just a patch over the original metal and it is brazed it on. So I've been in here and I cut this one piece out. I cut this whole section out and then I've, I've hammered up this and made this roundness because that's exactly how it is over on this side, if you can see that. And then I'm putting a piece in, piece in along here, then there'll be another piece here, then we've got it taken care of. And then we've got to come to the outside, the outside of it, and obviously we've got a big gapping hole there we've got to fix, and we've got a hole in the back. So we're working away on the wheel tub areas right now, the 37. Now, here's the newest truck we've got. This truck came to me some time ago. This truck is a uh, 69 Chevy pickup. And uh, let me tell you a little story on this truck. How this truck came to me was on these YouTube videos, which are an awesome thing, I might add. Let me close this door. Oh, I'll close that door because we're losing a little bit of a little bit of heat out of that room. These YouTube videos, I was going to say, are an awesome thing because what happened was that this young guy, Colby, he was watching me. He was back in New Brunswick, and uh, somehow he ran across my videos. I never did ask him how, but he ran across them, and he got hold of me, and he said, hey, I got a truck I'd like you to uh, take a look at and work on for me, and I was like, wow, well, you're in New Brunswick, and he said, no, I'm moving out, to, uh, out your way. I'm going to be out there in Langley, B.C., so he moved out here and I went and looked at the truck and uh, sure enough, um, I told him what I thought of it and uh, we got the truck in here. He dropped it off just before Christmas and of course I was going to get onto it and I got a little bit behind and uh, we brought her in here today and uh, we did the routine thing. We jacked them all up, we checked all the suspension out, we checked the motor out, did a compression check, did all that kind of stuff on it, looked the truck over really good and uh, we'll see what it's about because he wants to do a frame off restoration. Um, he's not getting overly carried away where he's going to like start powder coating or, or doing the frame super nice, but he does want me to have the frame cleaned up. Uh, basically, what I showed you in my last video, my 5840, he wants the same thing done there. Just uh, degrease it, pressure wash it really good, and throw some paint on it, and uh, good enough. He's not getting overly carried away. He just wants a nice, clean driver. So, we're working on also taking the, uh, the 69 Chevy pickup apart that came out of Oregon, actually, is where he bought it from, even though he lived in New Brunswick at the time. So, there it is. It's a little six foot short box. Now this truck, this truck, somebody did the bodywork on it themselves at home and probably painted it at home because it's, it's not the greatest paint job. And I don't know if you can even see this in the video, but if you actually look very, very carefully down the side of the door, I don't know if that shows up. The truck is really wavy. And I'm not here knocking his truck, it's really wavy, but it's a sound truck, it's not all rusted out, but it's really wavy. Somebody just didn't know how to do bodywork. And, uh, and even the paint job, you can tell, was done, was done at home. And if we get around here, you can see we're starting to take the box all apart. If you get around here, I didn't even notice it. But if you look carefully, look at the box. See this? Oh, God, let me get here so the light. See this metal? Somebody, here, let's go on this side. The light's better. Somebody has pop riveted big flats of sheet metal. This is all metal over top of the inner side of the box. I'm assuming they did it because the box is all dented up inside. And that was their way of getting away without doing body work. Just like if you look at the top of the box, if you look at this thing, it is just wavy as hell, dense everywhere. And what they did there was the classic fix. Let's throw some checker plating up top, which, oh God, I hate checker plating. That stuff's just gaudy as hell. But anyway, so that's what's going on there. We're getting this truck all taken apart. And, and uh, that's what's happening there. Now we'll, 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 take, we'll take a look outside here. Take a look outside and uh, Hopefully, uh, Darren, I think he's ready to flash up the uh, flash up the Porsche, the 350 in it. So uh, let me shut the camera off for a minute and let me let me make sure uh, see what's going on out there, and uh, we'll be right back at you. Okay, guys.
brings the auto right back, eh? It, guys Darren's got it alive it's alive and running that's it you got to see it running so anyway remember it's always a good time at all time and we'll see you next time big thumbs up eh